Hello and welcome. Today I'm showing you the inside of the St. John's Catholic Church building in Fenton, Michigan. It is recently undergoing reconstruction and renovation. Join me in seeing the inside of this historic church. This church building was built in the Tudor Gothic style, which is British Gothic style. Inside here is, you know, would have been like a gathering space or a narthex. This building was used from 1929 to the 1960s as a parish church until the current parish church was built next to it. And also, it was used between the 1960s and the 1980s as a gymnasium. And then in the 1980s, it was cordon split off and used as parish offices. This part of the nave was used as parish offices, so it was individually roomed off. And in the sanctuary, it was used as a chapel during the 1980s. This is the first time this building has been opened up since the 1980s. There were four side chapels in this building. Two of them were converted into the bathroom, like this one right here. The rafter with the white residue on it was the dividing wall between the chapel and the offices. Here's one of the side chapels that was converted into a closet and it's now going to be converted into a confessional. You can see the windows here were bricked off at some point. There's one of the inset squares that was used as parts of the Stations of the Cross. The statue of St. Joseph was on this side. They did leave the door to nowhere. Here's another side chapel that was converted into a bathroom. Here's the famous door to nowhere, the first steps of doozy. There's the other door to nowhere. St. Mary's statue was here when it was a chapel.
that hole cut into the wall was where the tabernacle was. That was the thing that held the host or the sacred bread. The three windows stand for the Trinity. Square areas cut into the walls used to be lit up and have stained glass in them. This room is called the sacristy. It's used to get things ready for mass. We're now in the area behind the sanctuary. From this hole in the wall, you can see inside there. These little areas behind the sanctuary, if you're part of a reliquary church, would be called the ambulatory. Now this church wasn't a reliquary church, although it had a relic in the actual altar as most Catholic churches did at this time and still do today. There's the back entrance. This area would have been only seen mainly by the priest down here is the basement. I'm not sure where that stained glass window is from. Must have come from somewhere in the church maybe. It does seem to have a weird eerie feel down here. It's also kind of musty smelling. is probably the area where they st stash and store all their extra stuff. It has a really weird feeling down here. This is the hallway linking the rectory or parsonage to the original church building. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching Electrofox. This is an Electrofox production.